welcome to this recording and uh, inspiring message that is packaged to change your life. My name is Pastor Victor of the Royal House of Grace Ministries International South Africa. I bring you this message because we are in a season of God doing great things in the lives of people. This is going to be a four week long teaching that is a going to change your life and give you the desires of your heart you're going to experience a change and that's going to be the topic of my message now people desire changes every day we meet people and when we have conversation with them all you hear them desire is a change somebody need a change in the job somebody need a change in their business somebody need a change in their relationship somebody need a change in their health everybody is in need of a change but nobody really knows how to get this change into their lives nobody really knows how to experience this change. nobody knows what to do to experience a change in their situation but i can assure you that as we hear the word of god God is going to use this four series teaching to open your eyes on what you can do to experience a change in your life. Now, before we continue, I want you to understand that this is God speaking to you, reaching you through this medium. Open up your heart and receive this word today. It's going to be a blessing to you. Now, how do you experience a change? And from the book of Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 to 19, the Bible says in the New King James Version, Do not remember the former things, neither consider the things of old. For I will do a new thing. I will do a new thing. I will do a new thing. That simply means God can do a new thing in your life. God can do something new in your health. If you, are you sick? The doctors have given up on you. Are you hopeless about your health condition? God can do a new thing. Is it your marital crisis? God can do a new thing. Is it about your career? Is it about your finances, your business? God says, I will do a new thing. And when God says, I will do a new thing, you better believe him because God does not lie. He says, I will do a new thing. I will do a new thing. That means so, the old can depart and the new can come. That means God can do something you've never seen before. He can give you a breakthrough you've never had before. He can change your health. Con he can bring that healing you so much desire. God says, I will do a new thing. Now, do you agree with me that a lot of people have done so many things to see their lives change. People have done so much. People have gone to places. People have done so many things to experience a change. But I can assure you that this change is very easy. There are only four simple steps you can take to experience a change in your life. And if you can follow these four steps, you will experience that change you've been craving for. Top on the list of these things you can do to experience a change in every area of your life is for you to build a relationship with Jesus Christ. It's for you to be born again. When you read the book of John chapter 3 from verse 1, a man by the name Nicodemus went to meet Jesus at night and Jesus said to him in verse 3, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Beloved, I want you to understand that the change you desire begins the day you give your life to Jesus Christ. The day you surrender your life to Christ is the day your real change in life begins. The day you open your heart and ask Jesus to come in and be your Lord and Savior, that is the day change begins. Because until that step is taken, every other thing you do will not yield any result. Now, the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 59, it is not that God's ears is too heavy to hear you or his hand too short that he cannot save you. But your sins have separated between you and God and he cannot hear you. You see, when people say we pray, God didn't answer. We've prayed, we've fasted, God has not answered us. The question I always ask them, are you born again? Because if you are not born again, there is no way your prayers will rise to God in heaven. The Bible says in John chapter 9 verse 31, we know that God hears not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will, him God hears. God is waiting to hear your prayer, but you need to deal with the sin problem. You cannot just look for change when you are still living in sin. It is time for you to give up 
up the life of sin and embrace the life of righteousness. Because where there is righteousness, there is power. Where there is righteousness, there are blessings. Where there is righteousness, you will experience the change. It's time for you to put off the garment of sin and put on the cloth of righteousness, which God gives to you freely by just receiving Jesus as your Lord and Savior. I want you to understand that being born again does not cost you anything. It's just you opening your heart to receive Jesus. The Bible says if you will confess with your mouth and believe with your heart, saved. So all you need to do is to pray a simple prayer today and, and be determined to walk away from a life of sin. I want you to know that sin does not pay you anything. In fact, the Bible says the wages of sin is death. Sin will only bring you down. Sin will take you to hell. Sin will make you lose. The Bible says our iniquities have withheld good things from us. Sin opens the door for the devil to torment and afflict you. But if you can give up your life of sin today and embrace Jesus as your Lord and Savior. The power and the yoke of sin will be broken from your life and you'll be on the path to experiencing a change in your life. When you receive Jesus into your life as your Lord and Savior, the first thing you're going to discover is that your sins will be forgiven. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 10 verse 17, their sins and their iniquities I will remember no more. Micah chapter 7 verse 18, the Bible says, who is a God like unto you that passes by the transgression of the remnant of his people. He returned not his anger forever because he delighted in mercy. I don't care what you have done. I don't care how sinful you have been. God can forgive you. God can cleanse you. God can wipe the slate clean with the blood of his dear son Jesus Christ. The Bible says, even though your sins be as scarlet, it shall be as white as snow. Isaiah 1 verse 18 and 19. All you need to do is open up your heart and receive Jesus. Once your sins are cleansed, you're on the path to experiencing the greatest change of your life. There is nothing holding you back except the life of sin. Give up your sin today. Receive Jesus into your life as your Lord and Savior. And you will begin to experience that change. Because once you give your life to Jesus Christ, the Bible says in John chapter 1 verse 12, that he gave them power to become the sons of God. That is where life really begins. That is where the power of God is deposited into your life and you begin to walk in the newness of this life. There is power in Jesus. There is power in, in, in following Christ. There is, there is great power in coming into a relationship with Jesus Christ. This is where the change that you all really desire begins and I want to invite you today to take this step. How long will you remain in sin? How long will you desire the blessing that God freely gives to his children? A woman came to meet Jesus and asked Jesus to heal his son. Jesus said, you cannot take the meat, the, the bread that belongs to the children and cast it to dogs. It's not possible. What you're looking for is in God. And God wants you to be saved. He wants you to be saved. He wants you to be healed. But what will it profit you if you get healed and you go to hell? He gave his son to die for you so that you will be redeemed from destruction so that your name will be written in the book of life and so you can experience his blessing right here on earth. So this is the first step I encourage you to take in experiencing a change. Listen to me, there is no change that God cannot give to you. There is nothing God cannot do. The Bible says he is the Lord, the God of all flesh and there is nothing too hard for him. Today, if you will take that step of faith to surrender your life to Jesus Christ, he will save you and saving you is at no cost. Jesus paid the price. His blood is available to cleanse you. So this is all you need to experience a change in your life. This is the first step you take. They say a journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. The journey to experience the change you've been looking for in your life, it starts with you receiving Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. And I know that today, maybe you have heard this message before, but today you have decided to surrender your life to Jesus Christ. I want to pray a short prayer with you and I just want you to know that bringing this prayer is the beginning of that endless changes you've been desiring. So pray this prayer with me as you give your life to Jesus Christ. Say with me, Heavenly Father, wherever you are, whether you're watching us in your office, in your home, you're with friends, listen to me. This is a personal decision that you have to take. Nobody 
will take this decision for you and nobody should discourage you from taking this decision i want you to open up your heart pray this prayer with me say with me heavenly father i come to you as a sinner i know that jesus is your son he died for me that i will receive the righteousness of god today i open up my heart and i surrender to you jesus be my lord and my personal savior from today i am born again thank you lord for forgiving my sins in jesus name amen now that only takes god has accepted you your sins are forgiven all the things you did before this day does not come before god anymore and all i want you to do right now is to follow the address you see on the screen write to us let us know that you took this decision today and one thing we are going to do is we're going to send you our devotionals that will help you to live this new life this this faith life that you have just started today we're going to send you a devotional we're going to call you we'll give in touch with you we'll pray for you and 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 if you are in johannesburg you are welcome to worship with us from the address you're going to see on the screen you can come through to our church in Rosettenville, south of Johannesburg, number 127 Bucket Street. Please let us know that you took this decision today. Till I come your way again, don't forget, change is possible through Jesus Christ.